Hi, I'm Peter Polson, Tiller's founder. In our last videos, we created a Tiller account, connected our banks, and created our first spreadsheet filled with all of our transaction and balance information. And then we spent some time walking through what's possible on the transaction sheet. In this video, I'm going to walk through categories and how to think about them and set them up in your first spreadsheet. Categories are the basis of all financial tracking, and we've built Tiller to allow you to express yourself and track your money with just the categories that make sense to you. You can find your categories here in the category sheet, and we've provided a few sample categories, but it's important that you delete the ones that you don't want and add in new ones to reflect your priorities. As you dive in, I want you to consider two things. First, when in doubt, I'd recommend fewer categories, not more. It's easy to get carried away, but simplicity is important with categories and really with the rest of your spreadsheet in general. You wanna be able to jump back into your spreadsheet at any time and not have to rethink your workflow. Second, know that you can change your categories later. You can consolidate categories, split categories, or modify their names. So as you start with your spreadsheet, I'd focus on a simple schema to get started and you can update it later. Here we can see in this category sheet, our categories are listed on the left and they're organized by group. And the groups are really whatever makes sense to you. There's a group here for bills, for discretionary expenses, which is what I think of as those expenses I have the most control over if I want to reduce or if, I'm, or if I have the liberty to expand in a given month, kids' expenses, living expenses, which tend to be fairly fixed, primary income, transfers, and work. And I classify each of them, is that an expense or is that an income? Although there's one category here for transfers because when I'm paying my credit card, for example, from my checking account, that's a transfer. It's not really money coming out of my checking account because I've already accounted for it with everything I've spent on my credit card. And it's not income into my credit card. It's just a transfer. And when you create a transfer, it's noted here to hide that from your report. So it doesn't appear in your budgets or other reports. I'm going to create a new category here called reimbursable. And I'm going to call that a work category. It's an expense for sure. I'm actually going to hide that as well too, because I don't want the work reimbursements to impact our budget or our tracking since I know I'm going to get reimbursed for each of them later. Although it's helpful to track in my tiller sheet just to make sure those reimbursements happen. I can see on the right here, there's budget information in the columns E onward. I'm going to skip that for now and we'll come back to it when we review our budgets. That's a quick overview here of the categories. As I mentioned at the beginning also, it's important to delete any of the ones that you don't want, modify any of the ones here that are sort of close, but not exactly the wording you would choose, and really make this your own. Now as we return to the transaction sheet, I can see the categories I've created listed here on this drop-down menu. Now I can start to type in the category and it will pre-fill for me, or I can pick it off of the menu here. As you start your transaction sheet, you're probably gonna have a lot of categories to apply to transactions. A few pro tips here. One, I like to use filters, and sometimes it's helpful to sort everything by description. And now I can see everything organized by description, and so if I want to apply a category here, let's say our AAA membership, and I'm just gonna say, call that a subscription, and I'm going to just roll that down, copy and paste, and boom. All of a sudden, I've just categorized all of those transactions. If you want to go back to the spreadsheet as it looked before, just go over to the date column, sort it from Z to A, and your most recent transactions will be up top. What's most helpful is to categorize the transactions for a full month, and then the budgets and reports start to come to life. So don't worry about going back much further unless you're really inspired. In the next video, I'm going to show you AutoCAD, which is one of the ways you can create rules that are specific to the transactions you have and the categories you created, and you can have Tiller automatically apply those categories based on the rules you set. I'll see you there. Thanks.